Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Some pretty excessive rainfall amounts last night and into early this morning. Even some thunderstorms. We are drier tonight. The exception, uh, the lower Cape and the island still getting some uh, light shower activity. Uh, depending on your location, the northern part of the state, places like here in Lincoln, uh, actually, the skies are either clear to partly cloudy. It's quiet temperatures that are in the 50s. For the south, you go, you get more in the way of cloud cover down in Newport and along the South Shore. Humidity is elevated with all the rain that we've had. It was a very humid day and while the, the rain obviously has stopped, we still have humidity lingering in the air. So during the overnight into uh, tomorrow morning, some areas of fog, but expect it to thin to, uh, to some sunshine. River flood warnings continue for the Patuxent, the Wood and the Pawkatawk rivers. However, the category of flooding here is minor and these water levels will start to recede uh, tomorrow, but minor flooding on all three of these rivers with all the rain that we had last night and this morning. Temperatures now that are in the middle 50s in most areas, 55 in Providence, Smithfield 53, the upper 50s along the coastline and New Bedford checking in with clouds and 58. So some fog overnight early tomorrow morning will, will thin to at least uh, partly sunny skies, though tomorrow is a very changeable sky. So we go with fog early, becoming partly sunny, comfortable, mild and, or milder in the upper 60s, only to have the clouds roll back in by late day and early evening, keeping the weekend dry, though giving the edge to Sunday as perhaps being the brighter of the two weekend days. Some showers offshore east of Cape Cod, just kind of skirting uh, the islands right now. Storm system that gave us the deluge, you can see it's spinning right there well offshore, but the circulation around it, which is counterclockwise, is so broad that it's throwing back a little Atlantic moisture towards the Cape and the vineyard this evening with a, a few showers, but drier air to our west will be uh, settling in overnight and into tomorrow. So we take a look at the forecast this evening. We'll take you through the overnight and into tomorrow morning, starting with these little patches of gray indicating some low clouds and fog thinning to uh, partly sunny skies. And once the sun breaks through, the temperature responds nicely, topping out in the middle to upper 60s. But note the clouds from the Cape and New Bedford later in the afternoon. These will start to back in off the ocean. So we may actually finish the day with some extra clouds, but we do get a decent amount of sunshine from roughly mid to late morning and right on through uh, the early afternoon hours. So clouds and fog early, thinning to partly sunny skies by 11 a.m. 63. It's 100 times better uh, tomorrow than where we were today, of course. Uh, partly sunny skies through mid-afternoon and then notice towards late day, early evening, the clouds are uh, rolling back in off the ocean, but temperatures mid to upper 60s. Bay forecast visibility is reduced around daybreak and fog, improving the wind northeast 10 to 15, gust to 20. All right, seven day forecast, uh, giving the edge to Sunday as being the brighter day, Extra clouds on Saturday, cool as a result at about 63, 64. A little milder on a Sunday, partly sunny temperatures, upper 60s. And look at that stretch of weather Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even Thursday, all, uh, that whole time period with temperatures that are in the 70s. Nice tomorrow, though. Yeah. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next in sports.